Hey everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part two of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Today we'll be playing the Yates family, and here is Stanley Yates in his regular clothes rather than the graduation robes he was in last time. So he just kind of, I just kind of gave him a sweater, va um, sweater vest and some gray slacks. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of 50s thing men clothes, but I figured this worked and, you know, went with things. So Stanley's traits are workaholic, family-oriented, vehicle enthusiast, hopeless romantic, and schmoozer. And his lifetime wish is to be the CEO of a mega corporation. So Stanley loves the idea of starting a family and is looking forward to beginning his life with Lucille. And he is head over heels in love with her. Like he just he knows that she's the love of his life and he wants to spend the rest of his life with her. And they aren't engaged yet, but he has the ring and he plans to propose to her very soon. And he wants a typical family life, you know, where Lucille stays at home and takes care of the kids and the house, and he works a 9 to 5 job. And like Lucille, he, he is 18 and just graduated from high school. So now I'm going to talk about the Yates family in general. So they are a bit better off than the Bollinger family. And, you know, here you could see they've got, they've got a pretty big house. You know, it's bigger than what the... Um, you know the Bollinger family has. I didn't really show their house too much, but it's not very big. You know, it's 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 a you know big enough house for a family of five, I guess. Maybe a little bit small, but um, his family is actually considered rich. You know, if you hover over, hover over some of them, you know, you'll see the rich thing pop up. So now I'm going to show you the rest of his family. So sitting right here in. The kitchen, actually let me let me turn around here so you can actually see her face. But here we have Edith Yates. And she is his mother, of course. And while Lucille's family absolutely loved, you know, they were absolutely in love with Stanley, um, she's she's not quite she doesn't quite have the same feelings about Lucille. Um, she's not really a huge fan for her, as you can see here, she dislikes her. And the reason for that is that Edith is one of those mothers who doesn't think that any woman is good enough for her son, and she keeps telling Stanley that he should he could have someone prettier and richer than her, and that he should keep looking. You know, he he doesn't think Lucille she doesn't think Lucille's the one for him. She just she thinks there's someone someone better for him is out there, and because of that, she does not like you, Lucille. She you know she has a bit of a distaste for her. And because of that, you know, Lucille can sense that, and Lucille doesn't really like Edith that much either. And if we go to her traits, she is a technophobe. She she doesn't like TV. She doesn't like any of this new technology that's coming out right now. Perfectionist, family-oriented, proper, and a snob. Which, you know, goes in hands with why she thinks Lucille isn't good enough for her son. And her lifetime wish is to be swimming in cash. Like she, she cares about status. She cares about money. That's what matters to her the most. And that's why she doesn't think her son should be marrying just a simple middle-class woman. And in here we have Stanley's father, uh, Joseph Yates. And he's he's pretty successful. He wants to be the leader of the free world, so he's a politician. He's, you know... He wears a suit every day. And his traits are handy, vehicle enthusiast, schmoozer, ambitious, and friendly. And coming down the stairs over here is, is Stanley's younger brother, James Yates. So he kinda he kinda has more of the greaser thing going on. As you can see here, he's got the greaser jacket and the cuff jeans. He's a bit of a rebel, you know, he, he breaks the rules you know, gives his parents a hard time. Stanley's Jeff definitely the easier child, so he's a slob. Green thumb, heavy sleeper, and artistic. And the, so that's the the gist of the Yates family. So I talked a bit less this time, and now I'm gonna, gonna get into things. Um, another thing I guess that I should show first is that I messed with their ages a bit. So I didn't like how they were a young adult and adult for the same amount of time, so I tweaked it so they're still a young adult for 21 days, but they're an adult for 35 days, and that's just because realistically, you're a young adult for about like 10 years, and then you're an adult for 20 or 25. Um, I guess it kind of depends on how you look at it, but you're an adult longer than the time you're a young adult, so I just want to change it, and I also made them 
toddler for less time and a child and teenager for a little bit longer. So just kind of making things a little more realistic. So yeah. So now that I got that bit of introduction over with, I'm going to send Stanley out with Lucille again and they're just going to spend the whole day together and have a nice day together, you know, visit different sites around the town. So we're going to we're going to ask her out on a date. And let's um, let's see is the uh is the festival in town. Okay, so let's have him go to the Summer Best Festival v first and then I'll probably have him go to the beach. And I want him to propose to her in this part, you know, because I said he's got the ring, you know, he just hasn't asked the question yet, but he wants to do it soon. So we're going to make today that day. So now they're going to go to the summer festival, and this world was made before the release of Seasons. So it actually didn't have a festival lot, so I just used the one from Riverview, since it was kind of the one that fit in best. Um, I didn't want to put one of the huge parks in, and I didn't really want to make my own. So... This one was the smallest, you know, and the easiest to play, so it just kind of just kind of fit in a little bit better with, you know, how the town looks. So that is why I use that one. So we're just going to have them enjoy the have a really good day together. And I'll be sure to take a lot of pictures. I really want to take a lot of pictures during this let's play, like I said at the end of the last part. So they're just kind of, you know, saying hi to each other. Uh, let's have them get these flowers because they can actually get a good bit of money by selling those. And let's see, what should we have? Oh, it looks like she's doing the hot dog eating contest. So as soon as he gets those flowers, I will have him join her. So it looks like his father is going off to work. And for whatever reason, he couldn't pick the flowers. Okay, so whatever. Um, let's let's have him just enter the eating contest then. They can. Looks like okay. Yeah, <laughs> he got a research project. Okay. Uh... And in this in this let's play, um, I'm probably gonna use a lot of the stuff from seasons too, since that was sort of a form family oriented expansion pack, but. I'm not really gonna do. I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna do a seasons let's play because I feel like it's kind of pointless since you get the seasons. You know, once you have seasons installed, you get seasons always. So I'm just gonna kind of make this generations and a bit of seasons too. Like I'm gonna try and have them, you know, throw parties on all the holidays and stuff, and go to the festivals. So that's just what we're doing here. So hopefully, okay. So it looks like it's starting. Let's see who wins. Hmm, I bet, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna put my money on, or not, I was about to say I was gonna put my money on Lucille, but then she kinda puked hot dogs up. So, okay, so now I'm gonna bet on Stanley, or firefighter guy, girl. Oh no, I kinda want one of them to win, I don't want the firefighter to win. Come on, Lucille, you can do it, you can do it, keep it down. Both of you, keep it down, you gotta beat the firefighter. Oh god, this is awful. Ah, what? Okay, that was uh, that was interesting. Well, it looks like Lucille did beat him though, so I guess I was kind of right initially. So it looks like uh, okay, let's just come in a little bit. So it looks like she is the victor, and Stanley's just still going to town on his hot dogs there and spewing them up. I guess we have to wait till he's finished. Oh gosh. This. <laughs> All right, he did it. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> it just kept puking him up. Oh, he's feeling ill. I hope that wasn't from those hot dogs. Okay. Um, what should we have him do now? Let's. You know, let's have him skate together. Can we just? I kind of wish I could couple skate, but I don't think so. So I don't know what Lucille's gonna do. I kinda wish we could- let's see if um... I just think it'd be cute if they could like hold hands and skate around together, but I don't think you could do that. But let's see if she can- if join shoot- 
join skate. Okay. So let's have her let's have her skate with him so I can both just kind of go around together. Oh god. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, you can go. Okay, let's let's take a picture of this. <laughs> it's <laughs> you just cut that guy off. That's the wrong way to do it. You're Oh no. No, you're supposed to do that with Lucille, not that guy. What are you doing? No, okay. You do that with Lucille. You How do I Oh no, I want you to do that with Lucille. Um, how do I do that? No! <laughs> Come on, you stop. Stop! <laughs> everyone's just- everyone's struggling. Okay, let's... Um, okay, sure, why not? Why? Okay, can- okay, there we go. Let's see if he can do that with her. How do you- how did- how did that happen? Um... Special... Oh. <laughs> I just I really want him to do that hand holdy thing with her. Why can't I? Uh, okay, let's have him get back in. Ugh, no. Okay, let's have him get back in and see if I can get him to do that. No! 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 I need you and Stanley to do that together. Not this other guy. You stop that. Okay, don't don't do that again. This is really bugging me. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do it now. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, spin with Lucille. There we go. Now I'm happy. Okay, well let's let's just let's just get this before the the phone starts ringing too much. Okay, so now that I got them to do that, let's see what else can we have them do here. Um, there's actually not, you know, let's have them. Water balloon f balloon flight fight not flight. Ugh. Let's have them have a water balloon fight together, and hopefully his phone stops ringing. I don't know. I should probably answer it, but I don't really feel like it. <sighs> Just there we go. And now she's coming. And let's get a picture of this as well. Okay, so I guess they're done with that. You know, I'm gonna have them go. Ooh, I should have him pee before he pees his pants. That would, that would not be good. So I am going to have him go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna have him go to the beach together. And what's what all is up here? I guess it's just the hot dogs stands and some chairs. Okay, so hopefully he hurries, hurries up and pees. I want to get them to the beach before it gets too dark. Um, so let's go here. And I'm actually gonna check this out because I haven't really looked at it yet. The load—it takes a little while to load lots. I haven't been loaded before, so this is kind of cool. There's a pool right on the beach, and it's got these little bathhouses here, which are pretty, pretty neat. I like how they're um, they're all different colors. It's really cool. I got showers and stuff in there. <laughs> 
Alright, so here they are now at the beach, but this isn't the beach that we saw before. Um, this is actually another beach. It turns out something's wrong with that other beach and my game kept crashing whenever I went to it. So I actually had to start over and like completely reset up the Let's Play because I stupidly saved it right before going to the beach. So every time I would go into the save file, I would go to the beach and just crash. So yeah, um, <laughs> no more going to that beach. But this one's this one's pretty nice. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have him propose to her here. But first, you know we're gonna work up to where we can do that. But I think this this is a really pretty spot. You know it's a sunset and you got these rocks and the water. Um, it's still really pretty. It's actually a little more private than the other beach. So maybe it's actually a little bit better. So we should, should have him give her some flowers too. That's pretty romantic. Hopefully that guy stays out of the way because I don't want him getting away with the shot because I like this shot right here. And it's getting dark, so I want to get this going soon. Oh, I could have taken a picture of that. So let's actually take a picture of that. And let's see. I don't know maybe if they make out. That looks pretty. Well, I'm relieved that it's actually working now because I was like freaking out before. But I don't know, I'll probably just end up deleting that beach lot and just putting something else there, or redoing it. I don't know. Um, obviously, something's wrong with it because I kept getting can't access, you know, errors relating to it, not being able to access certain files or something like that. But let's see. Propose marriage. All right, let's let's do this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna tab it. I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures of this. And let's get this. Sorry for taking all these pictures. It's, he only pro proposes to her once, so you know I gotta get all the pictures I can of this. And let's just let's just go around and get his side of it. I mean, it wasn't quite the sunset, but I still think it's you know it was romantic. So now they are engaged. So he's a little hungry, so I think I'm gonna have him. Actually, let's have him do the dip kit first. Ki dip kiss first, so I can get a picture of that. And then they're a little hungry, so I think I'll have him go out to dinner. Even though I guess it's a little, a little late. And let's see if that looks. I'm taking lots of pictures of this. <laughs> All right, so we'll have him go out to dinner. Let's have him go to a nicer place. So Hogan Steve, I don't know why there's two of those in this world. I noticed that. Um, let's have him go to the bistro. So eat here with date. And we'll just have him go in there. And after that, I'll probably end the date, and then you know that'll be all for this part. You know, I think um, him him proposing to her was pretty eventful. And oh, here's her uh, formal wear for those of you ha who haven't seen it. Um, he was in the blue suit, which you may have just seen. Um, so I just she just has a red dress that's similar to what she you know normally wears. And then you know he's there in his blue tuxedo, and he's got his nice you know he's got a '50s looking truck. And I uh, should probably get his brother home. Uh, like I said earlier, he's he's a bit of a rebel. So let's let's I don't know, but let's get him home though, so he doesn't get arrested. I don't really want to deal with that right now. Looks like there's actually a lot of people here. Like I don't even. Oh look, it's her dad. 
And yeah, wow, that's that's interesting that there's so many people here. So now they're gonna go to let me see, I don't know if I'm gonna get it to where I can actually take a picture of them. Eh, that's not that's not a very good picture opportunity. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let them, you know, go in there and eat. And oh, let's see, busboy tripped and not—they're not even in the restaurant. What? A busboy tripped and knocked his entire cart of desserts all over. Do you want to yell at him or be kind? Let's be kind. All right. So we're given some complimentary food. So yeah, I'll see you guys once they're done eating. All right. So they are done eating now. Uh, like I said, once she gets out of here, I'm just going to end their date before I'll give have him give her a kiss. Let's do. Actually, let's have him just give her a hug. <laughs> and of course I have to take a picture of this. I'm just taking lots of pictures of this part. So now that they're gauge, we're gonna have him leave the date. And that is going to be the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, things will start picking up a little more from now on, you know, after I got all the introductions <coughs> out of the way. So I'm not sure when the next part will be up. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm hoping tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!